And today I have talent that is way more popular than I am, and yet somehow I got them to be in this video. Yeah, how did you do that? Slumming it up in here. I'll do anything for money. Hey everybody, welcome back to... Wait, this isn't our LP at all. <laughs> I don't do pseudo video games anymore. <laughs> oh no! So, uh, this is Chip and Ironicus of ChipandIronicus.com, guesting on your video. What you gonna do about it, son? D damn it, I was going to introduce you as Slow Beef and Diabetes. <laughs> you ruined it! Everyone knows I'm Proteus. Yeah. <laughs> and that you're having a child. <laughs> Speaking of which, whatever happened to LP, baby? Uh, it fell down a well. LP baby lives an hour away. The LP baby isn't my LP baby anymore. LP baby got LP adopted. So at what point do you actually get anywhere on this? Oh, at this point. Never mind. Yes. <laughs> I guess I'm just impatient. Alright. So... That seemed kind of pointless. Yeah, let's jump up high so we can get back down. You sure you just took a pole dance class? <laughs> I don't know, you get some funny dialogue out of it. He also showed me some great Well, that is the entire point of the game. I can't imagine wanting to play. Good use of time. So thanks for the LP. <laughs> You're welcome. <laughs> it's the Popo again. It's the Popo. Kill the Popo. So, um let's talk about this game. Yes! Let's talk about everything. Yeah, I have anything else to talk about. Uh, I keep seeing that that word that I hate getting thrown around. Why does everybody think this game is satire? Why does nobody know the definition of that? Hmm. I don't know. Can anyone explain that to me? Cause... Well, it has the name of a man who also uses the word satire, but was also barely involved with this game? What does what does Suda Fifty One do these days? What do you think? <laughs> I think he just makes promotional videos for games his imitators make at his company, right? That's that's his job now. I I suppose so. I guess I think his job is to sit on a giant pile of money and just occasionally get involved with video games. Sometimes he just he just appears in the office, Wait, throws why does an that idea not out, sparkle hunting, what? and just leaves. You're getting cheated out of your coins. I know. I feel like it Suda isn't even on like a giant pile of money. It's probably just like a moderately sized like Mo beanbag chair of money. <laughs> money just kind of floats around. Cuz like these games don't sell a ton. When you convert the the dollars to yen, then you fill up the room. Okay. <laughs> okay. This is true. Uh, so yeah, but people keep saying satire. I think they were trying to go for satire, but somewhere along the way they just completely fucked it up. It's it's a commentary, but the thing is, with satire, there needs to be an indictment. There needs to be a statement that, and that's why it is bad. No, th this is a big old celebration, and it's cool. It it works, but that is the opposite of that thing people are saying. I don't know. Maybe <laughs> in the end of the game, like, Suda Fifty One is just gonna show up on the screen and scold all of us. <laughs> we we travel to the center of the galaxy, and it's just Suda Fifty One's face looking disappointingly at us, shaking a single finger. How dare you enjoy my product? Thanks for the money! <laughs> like, the the whole... Uh, uh, the aesthetic and everything is about how awesome it is the the ladies be tearing things up. And she, Juliet's a really cool character, you know? She's got... She's capable and intelligent and all while being a weird wish fulfillment fantasy. It's, it's yeah. about how... Things being more than one thing. That's cool. The first time I played this game, I was really worried that Juliet was going to be this ditzy bimbo, and then she spoke fluent Japanese, and I was like, well, well there you go, yeah. It's not. Well, to be fair, Ironicus and Chip have not seen the final costumes, and... <laughs> oh, I already know true. what some of the costumes are. Wait, are those the anime cross-promotion ones, or are those only in Japan? Uh, no, there's a, there's a couple of the anime cross-promotion ones, but trust me, I'll be showing off some of the worst alternate costumes in the hard mode videos. Cause I, I mean, I know there's at least one kind of cool costume, the... Well, actually, I don't know if you've shown it, I haven't seen all the videos, so maybe I shouldn't spoil it. 
so far it's just been a bunch of tier leader outfits and then okay. us one skirt. I won't spoil the one cool one I know about then. Alright. I probably don't show that one off in full, because there's only so many uh, videos for hard mode, mm. and then there's like, I don't know, 20, 30 alternate costumes. Wow. Yeah. That, maybe not that, maybe not that many. Are you sure this isn't Final Fantasy 13 3? <laughs> it's, it might not be that many, but it's way more than I can show off in just going through hard mode normally, so there's right. going to be a segment on the very last video showing off all the ones that I couldn't run around We, we do love to play dress up around here. I'm just trying to figure out what all the costumes are, because there's so many, only so many ways you can upskirt an 18-year-old girl. <laughs> there's more than one way to see that cat's skin. Wait, what? N nothing. steal that. This well is full of exploding zombies. I wish those guys were just the screaming dudes from Serious Sam. <laughs> oh. oh, I would love that. This, yeah, this is why another reason why this game needs to be on PC, so people can mod that in. Yeah. Yeah, because we all want to see the mod community get their hands on this. <laughs> Do you point. even know what you're saying? I had not considered that. I'm... Steam Workshop support? Yes! Now I can finally port in my Skyrim boot mods! <laughs> Uh. Replace the chainsaw with a giant pair of tits. I mean, this game is interesting and it has a statement, but the problem is that it's just 20-year-old girl power, and that's, like, technically just by definition regressive because of it. Yeah. Like, we've all been there before, but on the other hand, I don't remember any uh, Spice Girls music videos being this creepy male gazy. <laughs> so it's actually even worse. See, I've, in that vein, I've heard Sucker Punch had a good message behind it, but... Oh, uh, I did a, po I did a podcast on it. I'm informed. Oh. Okay. Oh, okay. Uh, Sucker Punch it also is not satire. It is aversion therapy. It is the Ludovico technique, essentially. That's what I've heard, yeah. Where could you find that podcast? <laughs> <laughs> you shouldn't promote it now, because I'm going to... This is audio I'm going to weave in for the no commentary of cutscenes version. Oh, that's okay. the version I watch. Uh, so yeah, if you want to hear more of my opinions, my first watch opinions on uh, Sucker Punch, while incredibly intoxicated, alcoholywood.com. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, this guy's also a pain in the ass to save, but maybe oh, because man. he's surrounded by explosive barrels. And I just blow all that shit up before he gets anywhere near him. You gotta save that slow-moving team. <laughs> He's walking directly into fire. So just your average team. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> just lethargic, listless, self-destructive. Yeah. And then there's three more zombies that appear over here that don't appear if he's dead. I learned this from huh. recording the hard mode. <laughs> I accidentally killed him because I'm awful at video games. By the way, this is a waste because I thought there were more here, but it turns out, nope. Well, it's pretty. Yeah. Well, you got a nice tune for him. <laughs> Don't waste your star, man. Don't you know anything? I wish Hey Nikki would play in Super Mario. Come on, cheer up, sloth teen. How cool would it be, though, if Juliet got, like, a triple forward somersault? Oh, that, would be almost... that would be pretty great. And that makes all the students in the game safe. Hooray! Right. Took all that teen's coins. Now you can fill yep. one whole classroom when school starts up again next week. Well, I thought we were in, like, a firehouse because of all the holes around, but I guess we're in a church. We're, we're in a church that's currently being built. Those are load-bearing firemen holes? I'm even more confused now. <laughs> yeah. I'll just kind of keep believing what I believe. Bombing me out. 30 zombies, oh god! But, uh, it's... Yeah. This is how I deal with this room every time I play this game, because fuck fighting 30 zombies at the same time. Just power up with my boyfriend. <laughs> Which Nick Roulette is your favorite Nick Roulette? Nick Toss. Because it's just really, really good at clearing out waves of zombies that I don't really want to handle. I'm fan of Nick Cannon because it puts him in a helmet. 
And I feel like this entire game should be wearing a helmet. <laughs> So yeah, really the the fault the problem with this game, it's it's failing, is that it's a big celebration of everything in it. And hey, zombies are awesome. Capable, motivated female characters are awesome. But also, by extension, that creepy male gaziness is awesome. Says the yeah. game, and that's grody. It's grody. Yeah. You know what's not awesome is that weird smile Nick makes. <laughs> Creeps me out, man. You yeah. too. <laughs> That's been bothering me since the entire start. And the funny thing is, I really didn't notice it the first time I played this game. I was just like, oh, hey, it's power up, cool. And then somebody mentioned it while we were doing the videos, and then now I can't unsee it. It's like, it's just way too wide. It's way too wide. <laughs> uh, but yeah, the game is funny, but that's about all it's got going for it, really. Oh, stern look. Dad and Dad. This game's got Dad going. Is Dad the final boss? I am the final Dad. <laughs> Juliet, you are grounded. No. How much time did he spend setting this up? Come on. I would oh, imagine he's on. been doing this the entire level, and I have no problem with that. I love Mousetrap. He was doing this before he even showed up in the game. This is what he was riding his bike from. <laughs> Well, that's it! No, nobody I'll else has seen sure my video. No. He could have just mm -mm. punched the floor really good. <laughs> but, I mean, he beats zombies to death with his fist. I guess it could happen. But you're obviously the guy she'd pick for herself. She's always been a hell of a lot. Three minutes ago, you threatened to put him in a blender. <laughs> well, clearly, that's because he's not too bright. And he understands that about himself. Yeah. So the game gives you a bit of final prep before you go fight the boss. There's no zombies in here, and there's plenty of ammo, lollipops, there's a nick ticket over there. The why you would ever use a nick ticket in a boss fight, I have no idea. Um, the revival one? The revival one just happens automatically, oh. but yeah, I guess that's right. I forgot about dying. Oh snap, you just got schooled oh. in your own LP. Oh, oh no! This is now a chip on Aronicus LP. Kaelon, we have to leave. <laughs> well, I've never even played this game. Believe me, it's better this way. <laughs> let's just let's just go. There's nothing go. we can do here. I'm going. Bye. I'll have you know this is my court appointed community service. <laughs> <laughs> Why'd you do this time? I kicked a puppy. Oh. Well, How awful. Fucker. <laughs> uh, demonic Robert incredible. Smith again. Juliet, it had to be. Made it. Yeah. Fantastic. Well, yeah, he was. Who else were we gonna fight? How could you do this to our school? Oh, that's a bad. Oh yeah, he was in the beginning. That's right. <laughs> yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Juliet. Like the second, third video, something like that. We haven't seen him since. It's pretty understandable that you forget about him. I forgot about him. I mean, you know, this intricate woven plot. That is an impressive plot. Mary Kate and Ashley. Oh, 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 Juliet! I've been getting so lonely since you've been wasting Good all my friends. dark purveyors. Poor Lewis here. No, he doesn't have any friends. That's why he's blowing up the earth with zombies. To Go to a bar. Socialize. Stop dressing like that. This school is probably full of clubs. Like, if he just tried farm work, I know a lot of people you can hang out with. <laughs> there is a large farming community in this town. Yeah. Very large. And we've destroyed it completely. <laughs> Man, anytime I see a character with a huge ass pompadour, I just wonder, wouldn't it feel really weird to actually have a pompadour? I think he bumps that into like door frames. Would it feel like your face is constantly just like hanging off? Like Yeah. Maybe he uses it like a cat's whiskers, and he can just walk around blind. <laughs> gonna... <laughs> now I know how wide of a passage I can go through with while being safe. <laughs> Rock and roll is here to stay. You're not. You think his heart of rock and roll is still beating? No, he's a zombie. All right, so Lewis Legend is my favorite fucking boss in this entire game. Not design, like character design wise, because I mean nobody's gonna beat Diaper. <laughs> diaper. Oh, you're a big fan of the men drinking coffee too. Huh? <laughs> but uh, 
this fight is just so much goddamn fun. Is that a giant chicken bone? What's he? What is he firing at you? Uh, he's firing discs that turn into giant bones. Oh, you know, because vinyl's dead. Giant bones, you know, well-known aspect of rock and roll. Yeah. Elvis used them almost exclusively in his stage shows. And he likes to ride around and just be a general douchebag who doesn't want you to hit him. How dare he? To be fair, if I had a flaming <laughs> motorcycle, I would do nothing but ride it around. I would find ways to get it into places it shouldn't go. It's odd, because the dead aren't usually known for their preservation instincts. You know, being dead and all. Maybe somebody at a hospital, they open the elevator door, and it's just me sitting there on a flaming motorcycle, so... Floor, floor, please. Just burn out in your... If you're getting, have any neighbors you don't like, just burn out in front of their yard. <laughs> yeah, and then set their yard on fire. Yeah. Do it on a day where it's raining a lot, the yard's all muddy, sling mud on their house. Occasionally you'll get in a fight with him, and then that's your best chance to hit him, because he'll stay still for a really long time. And then once you get him down to zero health, he'll just ride around and try and do what he just did again. Most people don't realize that this was uh, originally a double boss fight uh, with Lewis and his friend Huey. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe the bike is named that. I, I hope so. That would be great news. <laughs> <laughs> oh. I just love the flying blood spurt. Keep up now. We gonna How do you keep your blood pressure so high without any blood pressure? Very good question. It's in, it's in fact yes! tomato juice. Oh. Yes! The motorcycle turns into a robot elephant! Yes! <laughs> What? I love this game. This is great. <laughs> what? It's so like every time I think, well, game, how can you get me better? It says, well, I'll show you, bitch. So occasionally he'll attack you, and then when there's steam coming out of his legs, that's your cue to attack him. He's just so proud of himself of, of trying to hit you. He just boogies for a bit. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I, I almost hit the cheerleader. Yeah, yeah. Woohoo! This is so oh, happy. happy purple thing, he just can hit you from anywhere, so you better get used to dodging that, because it hurts. Where the hell do you get a motorcycle like this? Because you sure as hell don't walk into the Hartley Davidson. You do in hell. Yes, I would like a motorcycle that spits flames, and also, when I'm at critical health, turns into a giant, rolling mammoth robot. You had the <laughs> elephant cycle in the back? Oh, yeah! Oh, man! We only have it in... Like lime green, though. I'm sorry. See, the, the giant mm. transforming mastodon comes standard, but uh, CD deck extra. What the heck? Yeah. What the yeah, heck? That's really good. It doesn't even have air conditioning, <laughs> which you really want with those big steam jets. Yeah. <laughs> uh, I just got fucking snack. Oh well. I kind of almost want you to not cut this thing apart. <laughs> it's an objet d'art. The best part is, we're still not done this part, part of the phase. Oh. You have to take care of the other leg. He can still move with that bad leg, though? Yeah. Anything change when his leg gets messed up, or...? Mm, not in normal mode that I can see. Okay. I'm waiting for it to turn blue. <laughs> how's, how's your fairy timing? Can you rip his spine out? <laughs> <laughs> Cameron, have you still have you played that yet? Because you were waiting for that LP to end. Yeah, no, I haven't played it yet. You suck. I know. Well, now everyone's waiting for it to restart. But enough about us. Let's talk about your LP. Oh, <laughs> 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 uh, it just gets better oh. and better. <laughs> and he's not done yet. <laughs> he's got wheels now. He always had wheels. It's a it's a motorcycle. Well, okay, now he has bigger wheels. And there's another thing. And this is the phase that changes during hard mode. Mm -hmm. But like, I'll I'll be showing him off in hard mode, so I'll talk about it. So here's a question: Do any of your combos make any difference in boss fights? Uh, they do. It's just that I way prefer heavy attacks, just because I know that. I can get three heavy attacks on him before I have to run away, as opposed to like, okay, I can do 
this combo and then this combo. Okay. Basically, I'm lazy and I don't want to try new things. <laughs> well, that's nice. Yeah. You just keep on talking. A moment of silence for Huey the Bikadon. <laughs> oh no, it's not done yet. Oh. Oh, man. Spoilers, dude. <laughs> You only cut off one arm! You have to take care of the other arm! This is the Black Knight of boss fights. <laughs> so we threw three quarters of our game budget into the Mastodon cycle? <laughs> Entirely worth it. You know, maybe if you attacked, I don't know, the oil lines... Or stab the dude riding it? Uh, He's... Hey, it's funny that you mentioned Black Knight, it's, uh, because I don't know if he says it in this video or not, but Nick does go, Dude, Black Knight, you have no legs, just give up! Yeah, he said that already. Oh, he did? Okay. And now you have to fight it with no horns! Oh, no, the drive train, that, that'd be a good thing to hit right now. <laughs> they got a headlight. They don't get pulled over by the police. <laughs> but, but the police are all zombies! Oh, damn. <laughs> and they're all jerks! They've got you everywhere. Wee woo, zombie police. <laughs> Okay, goodbye, Huey the Bikadon. Actually... Oh, come on! <laughs> Good lord. And now he just... Was that its ribcage or something? Uh, yeah. Okay. And now he just flips out and just starts throwing explosions at you everywhere. My ribcage like, twitches. That's pretty normal. This fight got much less cool as soon as it turned into a segue. <laughs> <laughs> But those things can turn on a dime, man. Is it going to turn into a Razor scooter next? No matter how demonic you make your segue, it's a segue. It's going to end up as a pogo stick. <laughs> Spoilers, this is the last form. It's going to turn it... The, can the final phase just be like... It just turns into, like, inline shoe skates? <laughs> no, I hate those fucking things. Oh, I hate those things. Every time when I was working at Target and I saw a kid riding around on those, I just wanted to trip him. Is there a smaller and even dumber form of transportation than those? Uh, I can't think of any. The bus. You remember those mm -hmm. shoes with the heel, with the wheel built in the back of them? That you had that yeah, that's, that's what I'm talking about. It's yeah. Like, fucking, I hate those. That would be fair, that would be pretty amazing. I would love that. He just Elvis sat there very calmly while he was He looked pretty cool with that. <laughs> he did. Like, yep. I guess she earned it, I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Going on? I, I don't ask me what this is about. Oh no, you have to defuse the bomb. <laughs> oh hey, you guys get to learn what the Latin note uh, is. Excuse me, but I speak forward. Latin. Oh, oh, thank you for not spoiling it, then. I don't speak Latin. Oh. <laughs> See, here's the thing, my brother actually does understand Latin, because he went up to, like, Latin 3 or 4 in high school. And that's when they start teaching you Latin. Latin 1 and 2 are bullshit. <laughs> Is he actually wearing the Edward, Edward Scissorhands? No, wait. What are you talking uh, about? Who am I thinking no. of? Um, Beetlejuice? Nightmare Before Christmas? Fucking... Oh, Jack skills. Skellington? Yeah, is he wearing that outfit? I don't think so, but it's close enough. It's, he's got the stripes. Yeah. I'd look so good in that, you don't even know. <laughs> <laughs> I don't doubt you for a minute. Even with the fingerless gloves? Uh, do you, you have to have the emerald brooch to pull it off, though, I think. Well, I mean, I'd, I'd wear a real shirt. I'm not some sort of doofus. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay. And they must utter the sacred words at the point of. Uh oh, here we go. I have no idea if that actually shows up in the game if you don't have subtitles turned on. So if you don't have subtitles turned on, you could possibly play this entire game and not know what the hell they're saying. Well, they're pretty common Latin roots. Why? Yeah. Why are you doing all of this? Because you're just like everyone else! You, you see, to you laugh at me because I am different, but I laugh at you because I'm not even finished yes, <laughs> I bitch. hate that fucking shirt. Game over. Well, Man, his head is not attached very well. It's full no. of jello. And the question is, is it strawberry or cherry? It's raspberry! We've <laughs> been over this. 
<laughs> just, just don't lick it. Really, is my only advice. See that? It was pretty awesome. <laughs> uh, it's a great party trick. Uh, oh wait, I can only do that once. This school. Oh, by the way, he pretty much did all of this because Juliet friend zoned him. Cry, uh, Miss Andre, and let loose the dogs of Reddit. That is not how you play baseball. <laughs> it's not how you play baseball. <laughs> it's not how I play baseball. Rot! 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 So fuck off. Get a hobby! He did. He got a hobby! This is my hobby! My pop music! Necromancy is a hobby. <laughs> you ever see, um... <laughs> you ever play, uh, Enter the Matrix, The Path of Neo? I, yeah, when all the Agent Smiths combine into a really big Agent Smith. <laughs> I'm so excited for their next movie. Behold the face of evil! But anyway, there's the this. The final boss is a 50-foot oh, tall fat Elvis. <laughs> Kill a Billy. Kill a Billy. Ray, what did you do? <laughs> Yesterday, I stubbed my toe. I was like, "We well, don't have to worry about that ever. anymore." Nick. <laughs> yeah, not quite. So, Nick, uh, you're immortal, right? <laughs> just have kill a Billy eat Nick, and Nick will just chew his way out through the inside. <laughs> I I think Nick would have a few objections. He is indestructible. Doesn't matter. <laughs> <laughs> Just slam the crash helmet on him, shoot him down the gullet. If if he wants to complain, he can crawl his way out and do his job first. Killer Billy kind of looks like he's wearing a potato sack right there. Killer Billy kind of looks like a potato sack. Welcome to my bedroom. Date night. Date night, yup. It actually covers more than the gym outfit. I've got a date with Elvis! <laughs> uh, somebody say something witty during the song. Ah!